I want to talk a little bit about our president, Donald Trump, because he is often portrayed as this anti-Semite, white supremacist, and you look at what he's done for Israel, and you look at what he's done in Israel, and you look at his family even, and you just are trying to put the two together, like, how does this fit together? How does what I am told about him in the media fit, you know, what I'm seeing him, his relationship with Israel doesn't make sense. And, and what is your take on that? Well, in my view, I think President Trump is the best friend that Israel and the Jewish people ever had in the White House. He will be remembered in Jewish history for uh, forever for moving the embassy to Jerusalem and recognizing Jerusalem mm -hmm. and recognizing the Golan Heights. The Jewish people still remember uh, um, King Cyrus the Great from Persia that recognized Jerusalem 2,500 years ago. <laughs> Thousands of years yeah. ago. So, so we have a, a long-term memory. And the vast majority of Israeli adores America and adores President Trump. He's a real rock star in Israel. <laughs> that's incredible. I remember Obama, he said, he said, I'm the closest thing to a Jew that's ever sat in the Oval Office. And to me, that was just an incredible thing to say. Donald Trump's actually not just running his mouth and saying things. Donald Trump is actually doing things. And, and to portray that as anti-Israel um, is incredible to me. He's, he, he's done so much for Israel. It's almost as if, um, you know, I'd like him to do some of the things he's doing in Israel here, for instance, and this is not Donald Trump, but I did want to talk to you about the wall that separates Egypt and Israel, because in America, we're dealing with our own issues on the southern border. Israel has a wall with Egypt, and to say it works is probably an understatement. Yeah, so we had a problem at the early 2000s uh, uh, onward that uh, we have a border with Egypt that is just an open desert. And we started having uh, um, a lot of uh, a, a, f a big flow of illegal immigrants uh, crossing from Africa because Egypt has a border with Sudan, and, the, and then from there the rest of Africa, and they would just walk uh, from there uh, from Sudan to Egypt, and then uh, right through the border with Israel, and gang going uh, all the way to Tel Aviv. Uh, so they would go just walk from third world countries into first world country. And Israel is only 8 million people. So tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrants eventually would have uh, uh, bring to the destruction of Israel. So in 2011, we uh, built a wall uh, coast to coast on uh, the border with Egypt. And since the wall was completed, the illegal immigrants uh, uh, the illegal immigration have completely stopped. Completely. Zero stop. Zero. Uh, zero percent, yeah. I mean, that's, that is just incredible. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it makes sense, because when you think putting up a physical barrier, hey, it, it works. But I mean, that, that, that is incredible that it went it down by 100%. So, yeah. It works there. Uh, I believe that it could absolutely work here.